Welcome to Newsboy on Track for Saturday the 13th of April. Have you had an up and down week? Did you ride the winner at 66 to 1 of the world's most famous horse race before being hospitalised in a fall less than 24 hours later? Did you then learn that your injuries weren't quite as serious as you first feared? You'd just broken the one bone in your spine. Did you then leave hospital to be fated by many thousands at a gathering in your hometown? No, jockey Ryan Mania did. Here he tells us all about it. He starts with his winning ride aboard Aurora's Encore in the Grand National at Aintree last Saturday. We were just expecting a, a good clear round. Clear, clear round. Um, it was great to even be there. I mean, the atmosphere was great, you know, before and after the race. Um, and as I say, like we were just, we were going for a, go for the day out and the good, you know, good clear round, and it was just it turned into the dreams come true. It was the Merlin Road. Um, I got to there and thought, oh wow, you know, I thought I'm going to be placed in this. Um, and then it, it wasn't. It really wasn't until I jumped the last that I thought I'm going to win. But even, even once I hit the front, I, you know, I was just expecting someone to come by me. He forged on clear and done it. Done it fairly sort of easily. I mean, it's 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 just great that he's. You know, I, I didn't have to get get uh, at him too much, and no one else caused a serious danger. So it was, you know, it was great. And but when we got to the elbow, I mean, the, the crowd was just, you know, that the, the the shouts we were getting and the roar from the crowd was just unbelievable. You know, even the horse had a look at it, and he, you know, he backed off a bit. But I think there was a loose horse just behind me, and that helped sort of just push me along a bit, you know. Then we fast forward to Hexham on Sunday and the fall from stagecoach Jasper. What do you remember about it? I remember the whole thing, you know, I remember, you know, I was, we jumped off in the race and I was, I was extremely happy with where I was and, you know, how the horse was going. Um, and then when we got to the hurdle that it happened that, you know, he, he jumped it fine. Um, and then sort of three strides after, he just, he, like, he, he tripped and fell over and, you know, I remember thinking, oh, Jesus, because you, you don't expect it. And then I hit the ground fairly hard. And then the next thing I just felt someone just, something just whacked me on the back, on the back. And I immediately sort of thought, oh, bugger. You know, I I'd really, I'd really did think I'd hurt myself. Um, and it wasn't until the sort of doctors had been with me, sort of 10 minutes, that I'd, I realised that it maybe wasn't quite as serious as I first thought. You know, I was conscious the whole way through. Um, but I mean, it was the first, but the first, but the first five seconds, I couldn't move, you know, because I'd taken a real knock, um, and I couldn't move anything. That was the first, that was the moment where I thought, oh no, what have I done? But as I say, once I got all that back, um, it was, to you know, I, I realised that if I'd done anything, you know, it wasn't going to be too serious. I might have just been off for a little while, but it wasn't going to be too bad. So after a couple of days in hospital, you were released on Tuesday. Yeah, I got out on Tuesday, um, which was great. I don't like lying about in hospital, you know, especially unnecessarily. I, you know, I didn't, you know, at that, by that point, I didn't. I felt sore, but I didn't feel like I needed to be in hospital. Um, so once I got the MRI scan results, then, yeah, it was good to get out and get away home. And the hero's welcome in Gala Shields looked absolutely humbling. Yeah, it was absolutely, like, breathtaking. I mean... I'd say I stood up on the platform, and you know I was looking over a sea of people. I mean, there's thousands of people there, and I'm just, that was the first proper time it sort of sunk in what I'd just achieved, you know, because up until then, you know, I hadn't really seen the replay, and you know, it was just people, you know, speaking to me and things. But actually seeing all those people, they were there for a reason. And, you know, it just made me realise what they were there for. And I couldn't, it was then it just sort of sunk in that I'd just won the national. And finally, when should we expect to see Ryan Mania back in action? I'm hoping to be back um, next Friday for the Scottish National meeting at Ayr. Um, but I've still to pass um, the jockey club's doctor, so we'll just have to wait and see on that. But that's definitely what I'm aiming for. A roller coaster ride that is unlike anything I've ever experienced, and probably will again. It's a once in a lifetime thing that it really is. I mean, I mean, you could argue that I might win another national, but I mean, the chances are very slim. But they can't take away that I've done it once, and the feeling is just extraordinary. You know, it's just it's like nothing you've ever felt before. You can't really explain it. 
Ryan Mania there with his reflections on one of the most up and down weeks I'd wager of any jockey's life ever. More Newsboy on track will follow next week. Join us then.